One thing I've found after teaching music production privately for seven years and working as a college tutor um, is that people always get kind of stuck with music theory and don't know what to do with chords and end up creating chords that just sound quite like Rugrats or something quite basic. So we're going to use another plugin this time called Scalar, which explores um, some music theory in quite a fun way and allows you to play some complex chord progressions without really needing to play the piano and also just knowing a little bit of music theory. So let's just take a listen to what we made last time. I have just added a bit more of a filter to the organ just so um, we can add some organ chords above this as well. So my aim now is to just add some chords on top of this. So I'm going to drag in Scalar 2. And then um, when this loads up, so this is by Plugin Boutique. You can buy this for £50. I'd highly recommend buying this, but if, you, if you're not too sure, download the trial and just give it a bit of a go and use it with your um, tracks. So we're going to do what we did last time where we selected the MIDI, but this time we're going to do it from Scalar rather than the, the probabilistic sequencer. So now that's selected, anything I press in here is going to trigger this, this organ. So what we need to do is we need to find the scale. So this is the scales section, and this is where you can choose all the different um, pre, uh, scales to, to work with. You can watch video tutorials of this on YouTube. I'm not going to do an in-depth tutorial. I'm just going to show you how you could apply it in more of like a house track. So then if you type in here F minor and I click on the F minor, if I listen to these now, let's turn that down, it's just distorting. So that's playing um, triads, which are three note chords which is like I was saying before, most people just add that angst they don't really know what they're doing and it just sounds a bit kind of like Rugrats or, or cheesy pop music. So what we're going to select is seventh chords, which means four notes. So these just sound a bit more in depth. What I've done here is I've actually just added in a um, preset from, from Ableton and I've just adapted it. It's just an organ. If anyone wants it, just message me and I'll, I'll happily save it. I'm going to turn this isotope vinyl off. I am going to do another video on this soon. So if I just come back to Scalar. So they're quite nice sounding chords. I'm going to change them a little bit more. But the first thing we need to do is make sure our chords fit with the notes that we have previously used. So if you come in here, um, these are the notes I have created last time if yours is not looking like that if you press fold what it does is it just um, brings it down so you've only got the notes that you played in so I can see here I've got C A sharp F and um, D sharp now when you come to your scale your chords will be created within a specific note of the scale so these are the the, the notes that are within the F minor scale one thing that may confuse you is this says A sharp, but if I come into Scalar, you'll see it'll say B flat. So what that actually means is if I just unfold this, if I come to B, the note B, you can see if I come down, it goes to A sharp. Now that is actually the same as B flat. So um, A sharp and B flat are exactly the same notes. So I'm going to choose the C minor chord, the F minor chord, also going to choose the B flat minor chord and the E flat major chord as that is um, in that, that scale. So when what I'm going to do is just drag these down. So the first one was C and then F, E flat and let's finish on the B minor 7. So to edit these more, they sound quite high pitch. So what I can do is add inversions. So what this does is it changes the order of the note of the chord. So the top note comes down an octave and this just makes it sound a bit more closed. So that needs to come down. I'm actually gonna bring B flat over here. And I'm gonna extend that F there. So I've got, jumps up a bit too much, that's better.
I'm going to bring this up so it's the same chord but just with an inversion on the top. Now it's up to you, depending what kind of sound you want, you can either have this as short chords playing over let's say a bar, or you might want more like rhythm. But the good thing is if you've got a MIDI keyboard or you can just use a computer keyboard, you can use this to trigger um, scalar and this organ. Just a reminder, um, to select both of these, you just either hold Command or if you're on Windows, Control to play these. And if you select this C, you can hear now that my keyboard is playing these notes. If it's not playing them, it might be an octave higher. So all you need to do is press Z. Or you might be at an octave lower, then you press X. So I'm going to play these along now and just see, see what I can get sounding good with this bass line. Now I quite like that, we're just playing that in randomly. A reminder, if you just improvise without recording, you can press this on Ableton and this will um, automatically record what you've done. So I'm just going to select these, I'm going to quantize the notes. And I'm just going to record these in here, so if I just press... I mean, you might want to create some more variations than that, but it's completely up to you. You can edit these now. So now you can see I've got the, the, the chords in here. So if I come into uh, here to edit these, I'm just going to mute scalar off. And again, we could do some variations of these. You might even want to move some of the notes so it's just a different... Realize that the scale is still in there. If they're too high pitched for you as well, if you press Command and A, you can always bring it down an octave by uh, pressing Command and A, then Shift and Down. Now the next thing you want to do here is just put an EQ on just to boost some of the mid. I'm going to do a follow-up video of this soon, just adding some pads in. I hope this technique helps you with your music productions. Thank you everyone. Please send over any tracks you use to, to help um, if, you, if this helps you create something. Speak soon everyone.